live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Oracle Open World 2016. Brought to you by Oracle. Now, here's your host, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live in San Francisco for Oracle Open World 2016. This is SiliconANGLE's Cube. Coverage of Oracle for three days. We're on our third day of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE, and Peter Burris, my co-host, head of research for SiliconANGLE, as well as general manager of wikibon.com research. Our next guest is Mike Webster, senior vice president and general manager of Oracle Retail and Hospitality. Great to see you, welcome Thanks. to theCUBE. Thanks, great to be here. So, love, love this conversation because it brings kind of a sexy appeal because retail really is the front lines of all edge computing, internet of things, consumer interaction, and hospitality is the schmoozing all these places people go on vacations, and the, the pressure to deliver good consumer experience is at the highest, but yet the data has become more important in these areas than ever before. And sometimes they've all had, always had antiquated systems or siloed applications. So that's shifting to the cloud, and clearly. So give us the update on where you see this. Yeah, look, we have a tremendous passion for both industries. Um, you know, the thing we love about retail more than anything is we see changes in consumer desire and behavior that, that then signals to us potential changes that might follow on in other segments, whether they're banking or in the communication segment or uh, in utilities, as an example. So um, we think that these are really at the at the forefront of where you know consumer technology meets you know more traditional business technology. Um, and um, they're businesses that you know, really lend themselves very comfortably to the use of big data. And look, retail's always been about big data. We've had big data for a long time. What we've had is little insight. Right? So I think the, the things that we're really excited about and, and what we're talking about with you know, the hundreds of our guests that are here at Open World this week um, is you know, how do we help use that data to anticipate what the consumer really wants? How do we bring science into context of better merchandising, better engaging, and then better managing the flow of goods and services to those customers they want to serve? And then we're using the data to try to you know, better inspire staff to serve them. So uh, it, it's just, it's a really wonderful opportunity with tech and cloud coming together in retail. You know, my observation, we've done a lot of um, CUBE live broadcasts um, with uh, some of the sports teams in the Bay Area around sports data uh, and interactions. And the three things that pop out of that kind of hit retail and hospitality is how they manage the team, how they manage the fan experience, and how they manage the organization. Now, retail's always been kind of a point of purchase kind of thing with sure. you know, a lot of big data and now you know, very little insight, but now to not only the need for more insight, but more transaction environments, the surface area of digital has expanded. So the sports is a great example. The sports teams would never have the kind of, you know, getting a hot dog in six minutes and a hat and, right. <laughs> and manage your parking all on an app. So the surface area of the touch point becomes larger. It becomes much larger. And I, I think the, the, the sports and entertainment venue environment is, uh, it's one of the segments we serve. We have, you know, roughly half of the major league parks and stadiums here in the U.S. and many around the world. And, you know, there is a great case where using technology delivered via our cloud to speed just something simple like getting concessions. Right? I mean, we, we know as an example that you could drive 50% more concession sales just by reducing the amount of time that you spend waiting in line. And we solve that problem every day for great stadiums. So, Digital allows us to engage better in seat, it lets us get better personalization around either fans that we have an affinity to, and it allows us to share that in a social environment. So all of those come together via the Oracle Cloud. And ag agility and business agility becomes a big thing too. We've heard stories, and I'd love to hear some use cases from you guys, where you know if the team loses, the prices of the jerseys in the store instantly go down. If they win, it goes up, or if it's a family-friendly environment, beer costs more, so they can actually dynamically manage things with the data. And that would make sense almost in all all retail and all um, things being outside in kind of focused. Can you share some examples of where you guys are doing those kinds of things with customers and, and some of the results? Sure, I mean we, um, you know, I'll take in a retail example in this case and maybe come back and give you some hospitality ones. But, you know, in retail what we're able to do is we're actually able to look and see what was all of the browsing behavior uh, for a consumer segment online and looking to see, say, they ship products into a, a postal code or a zip code of X. We can then take that insight, what were customers looking for, and 
and use that to intelligently drive the assortment, what, what merchandise goes into the physical store. So we start to bridge the digital and the physical divide using data to more intelligently assort offers. Um, we can certainly do the same as we look at the sell through of items and better adjust inventory. And in a, in a sporting venue, uh, I know I can move around, say, hot dog buns are selling hot on, you know, on this side of the stadium. I can intelligently move goods around. So um, lots of, of wonderful applications uh, that are enabled by great data. So the thing that I'd like to have explain is the impact of mobile. Um, on retail and hospitality. Can you share some anecdotal uh, data? Does it change some of the dynamics uh, around the business, around the users? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think mobile um, um, uh, obviously is, is, is a great neutralizer. It brings transparency to both the retail and hospitality journeys. Uh, and for the first time, it starts to engage us as consumers and tailoring it to our own preferences and needs. Um, you know, I mean, there's more devices, you know, on the planet than there are people or toothbrushes or toilets. And, you know, what it does is it gives us as the guest or consumer visibility to pricing, inventory position, it gives us access to recommendations. So we're enabling all of our applications for mobile, not just for consumer use, but for associate use. How do I let you get shoulder to shoulder with an associate that can see other things that you've bought, other things that may be in your basket and make recommendations so your experience is richer? Uh, same if I go on hospitality. We, we've taken what is a, a, a traditional strength of ours where we, you know, we provide the check-in service, a property management system to a hotel. Um, and now we've extended that all the way out to the guest. So uh, I can, from my phone, check in, have my room, select where I want to be, uh, and just you know flow right past the front desk and, uh, and save myself some time. So uh, mobile is an absolute game changer for both those communities. So what we've seen happen over the last 10 years is business, which used to largely be defined by the industry that they were in, the assets that they had at their disposal, and how they bought them to bear on opportunities. Because of digital, the specificity or the uniqueness of those assets is starting to change because you can program them differently. So how is Oracle keeping track, and we kind of talked about this, touched upon it, keeping track of changes in the definition of industry as industries themselves look at their customers and how they can fill up the experiences differently? Sure. I mean, we're, we're a bit unique in terms of how we approach, um, you know, our customers and that you know, we have uh, organizations that obviously focus on kind of horizontal platforms like database or, um, you know, core technology or hardware. And then we have industry groups that are very targeted that are, you know, made up essentially of domain experts. Um, and it's one of the things that is why we love retail because um, we think, again, understanding how that consumer engages is a good predictor of what could happen in, elsewhere. Um, so the way that we're trying to change, I think, is, uh, again, having laser focus on what are the most critical business problems the industries face. And if we see opportunities to leverage and scale those across others, we will. Um, and increasingly, we think all of those converge to a point of delivery because of the way those assets are now configured is different. If, if I'll stay in hospitality for a second. If I'm a restaurant, the last thing I want is a server under a desk to manage, to secure, and update. So what we're helping our customers do is take all the cost and complexity of IT, put it on our shoulders, and then let them really focus on how do they unlock innovation to serve their guests or their consumers. How does Mark Hurd look at the retail? I know that um, he used to be at N uh, NCR as well back in the day. I mean, does he see the retail opportunity as a unique thing or all a part of the overall cloud uh, perspective? Because I think you guys have a unique perspective at Oracle running all the data databases, if you will. But now with this whole new cloud push, the the model's upside down in a good way, so it's kind of disruptive. Does Mark, does Mark see that? Do you guys talk about that? Do you guys have conversations around that? We do, and I, I think what, what excites you know, Mark and, and the rest of our teams, of course, is that what cloud allows us to do is to take uh, these incredibly powerful tools that we've offered to the largest global retailers on the planet, the best brands, and bring those down to serve a much, much larger pool of customers. 
So the aperture of market that we can now address because we've taken that complexity away lets us sell to a lot of new customers. So you know, we have customers that are you know in hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue that two, three years ago would never have been good candidates for us because the weight and the and the cost of our offering would have probably been too too significant. So uh, I, I think Mark sees that opportunity and and that is retail, right? Yeah. It is a it is a true pyramid of a select group of very large customers, but a lot of mid-market, which is just more opportunities for us to grow our company. What's the biggest thing that you've seen happen in the retail and hospitality space in general, just you know, holistic trend-wise? I mean, obviously, um, people are self-serving themselves. You have all kinds of ways. You mentioned the mobility is a great example. Um, you got machine learning and AI, Larry showing the chat bots. I mean, you can almost see the recommendation engine. You can almost connect the dots on machine learning. Is there a new generation of retail mindset? Is, can you point to a trend that's driving a lot of the change at the retail level, at the edge? Yeah. Well, I think you hit them, right? I think the, 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 the foundational changes that are happening in retail are being driven by this consumer-centric mobile delivery model. Um, and that are being delivered by embedding science and analytics into the workflows. I mean, the reality is trying to manage simple things like how do I price across different channels exceeds the capacity of the knowledge worker that lives in the retail today. So the buyer, the planner, the allocator, it's too complex. Yeah. Too many variables, too many data points. So um, by packaging all of this capability in simple to use tools that we then deliver on mobile, that's what's changed the conversation for our community. So how's the, how's the industry changing. I mean, I don't want to bring up the whole ageism thing. I don't really mean it that way, but I mean like, I think like mainframes, the minis, and every transition, you have a generational people that clutch and hold on to the old way. Sure. Right? Um, certainly, the retail systems have been out there, like, I mean, mainframes. I mean, you worked at NCR, they're doing point of transaction stuff, and IBM's in there. So there's a lot of old thinking. Uh, and it's hard to rip and replace out these huge systems. Sure like that run hotels and, and you know, global chains and retail. So what's the new philosophy? Is there kind of like a guiding principle? I mean, in cloud we see DevOps driving a lot of the developer conversation. Is there a business version of that um, in retail? There is, and I, you know, I believe that we are in that generational shift and we're really in it. Um, I think the retail and hospitality industries, you know, some might describe as being technology laggards and I would respectfully disagree. Um, I think these are companies that may not invest the same percentage of revenue on IT as other industries because their margin profiles are smaller. But they get more out of their technology because technology to them isn't about just simple enablement of a business problem. It is about survival. It's right? core of their business, basically. It's core of their business. And you know, increasingly, there's a bit of a, of, a, of a twist in position in that you know, we are becoming more of the, the retailer's IT run shop, and they are then becoming more about the innovation engine that's going to fuel it. So um, I think that that delivery model is flipping, and then I think cloud is the front end of that generation shift. Well, I would say that Peter mentioned yesterday on a CUBE interview that um, you know, I, IT has always been there in hospitality and retail because it was back office stuff. Right? Sure. Certainly critical to the business, but now as it flips to the front office, I mean, it is literally front lines on everything. I think to me that's, do I get, am I getting that right in terms of that flip? I mean, it's still critical. Yeah, everything that they're focused on is how do they enable the guest, ex the guest experience, right? So, um, you, know, um, you know, there's not massive transformation going on in back office for, you know, new ERP or new HTM. Those things happen, but the focus of IT and hospitality is on how do we engage the guest? How do we make his or her journey more efficient and how do we help then drive revenue by better tailoring and personalizing our offer? Well, one of the most important things, at least in the hospitality and retail business, is that it's not a push. Guests and shoppers are demanding it because not it certainly provides better experience, but it also increases their overall power, their ability to get what they want at the price that they want. So this is you're in, you're in two industries where it's a pull problem, and IT and business has to respond to customers dragging them into it. That's different from some other industries where you know you're kind of folks are kind of doling out new function, new capabilities, and hoping that the customer would adopt it. How does that change your uh, relationship with customers, uh, Oracle's customers, relative to some other industries? Yeah, I think it changes our customers in, in, in two fundamental ways. Um, you know, one is that I think it puts us squarely in the value chain of how they deliver that. 
right? Because the availability of our cloud service becomes mission critical, right? Because it's being delivered via our infrastructure, not theirs. Right, so I think we we take that uh, with uh, uh, with obviously great purpose and intent, and we know we have to now manage their relationship with their customer. That's one. Two is then you really we're able to bring the full breadth of the Oracle portfolio because we don't just have those transactional systems that that sell or check in. We can enable those with Oracle BI. We can en enable those with Oracle CX technologies that help us attract customers, inspire customers, and keep them engaged in the process. So um, I. I think the, the ability for Oracle to become a more strategic partner uh, is just growing every day in these two communities that, um, that I'm blessed to serve. Uh, we're on the last minute here, take a, take a minute to, to share with the audience what your plans are for the year. You guys have any events? If people are watching that, that are customers or want to be customers, sure. where would they go? Is there an event you guys have? Is there a road show? Is there any priorities you'd like to share with them? Yeah, so I think um, you know, we have a number of different community activities that we directly manage and promote. Um, our next large one will be uh, Oracle's Industry Connect, which will be in April uh, in uh, Orlando. Uh, but we'll certainly attend a number of other trade shows uh, like the National Retail Federation Show or Shop.org. So we have a pretty published schedule, uh, and everyone can go to O.com to find that. Um, we are as excited as we've ever been about what's coming. Uh, we have our absolute latest uh, generation retail platform coming out uh, here in the next few months. It's called version 16. Uh, it is a game changer for our customers. Cloud enabled. Cloud enabled, really drives simplicity in the business model, uh, inspires their guests and their staff on how better to serve, um, and it really helps them to better anticipate the changes that are coming, uh, and then we will continue to release a schedule of new hardware to both retail and the hospitality communities, as well as uh, massive investments that we're uh, starting to realize around our property management for hotels and point of sale for our restaurant companies. So uh, it, it's a great time to, to be in service to these communities. There's so much going on, uh, and uh, I think Oracle has a really interesting opportunity here to, uh, to change the conversation. And what's the main differentiator versus the competition that you tell your customers that Oracle has over the competition? Yeah, I, mean, I think our business model is different because the way we configure, again, this uh, this focus on solving the, biz, biz, the business problem. Uh, I think the level of investment that we make as a company, and you know, we spend $5.3 billion on R&D, a lot of that goes to industries. Uh, our delivery model is different, and just the breadth of our portfolio. Uh, we just have amazing, amazing technologies that, that help our customers, again, simplify and scale. Mike Webster, Senior Vice President, General Manager of Retail and Hospitality. Thanks for spending the time on the Cuban Share and the insights with us and giving us the update. Thanks, great to be here. Okay, we're live here in San Francisco for Oracle of World, day three of three days of live coverage from the Cube. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris. We'll be right back with more after this short break.